how will I survive? How will I feel? What will happen to me then? What will happen to them? Hi, my name is Father Mike Schmitz and this is Ascension Presents. Not too long ago, I made a video about death and just how Christians grieve. And so people have reached out to me and they've, they've said, okay, so they're not in that place yet, but they're in a place where they continue to continually think about the death of their loved one. So some adult children think about the death of their parent. You know, their parent might be sick or some parents think about the death of their child or spouses think about the death of their spouse. You know, basically these really big losses of these really significant relationships. And they were saying, I just like, I just, I can't get to a place of acceptance. I can't get to a place of peace with this. I, I find myself very, very troubled when I, realize that here's my mom and she's sick. Here's my dad and he's sick. Here is my spouse. And I don't know what life is going to be like without them because they're sick right now. And this recognition of just um, feeling powerless and really, again, truly being so profoundly troubled by the impending loss of this person they love. And that first thing off the bat is just like, that makes so much sense. Again, like I've mentioned in the video about grief, uh, when it comes to losing a loved one is those emotions aren't right or wrong, right? The emotions of sadness of our heart being broken, or sometimes even, you know, people have reached out and said, you know, I thought my heart would be broken when I lost this person, when this person died in my life. But I, I strangely, I find myself being okay. Like I strangely, I found my, find myself being stronger than I thought it would be. Is that something wrong? You're like, is my heart muscle broken? <laughs> kind of a thing, are my emotions broken? And maybe, you know, pay attention to that, I guess, but there are no right or wrong emotions. And even right now, as you're looking at the impending death of your, your loved one, there are no right or wrong emotions, but it, sometimes it's helpful to look at the emotions to understand what's going on here. You know, people who said they are troubled by the idea or like, I don't know if I'll be able to face this. He let, let's look at this. What, are they, what is that? That's fear. I, I remember I came across a definition of anxiety. Uh, anxiety is on the rise. It is, it is on, on college campuses. It has overtaken depression as the leading reason why uh, students seek out uh, mental health professionals. And I heard this definition of anxiety and I thought it was so powerful. It, was, it said that anxiety is fear of the future coupled with one's fear that they'll not have the ability to cope with that future. I'll say, I should say that again, maybe. It's fear of the future coupled with one's fear that they will not be able to cope with that future. So we realize this, right? We realize that the, the source is fear essentially the fear of the unknown. It's the fear of what I'm not in control of. And I think that that fear can be so powerful because in that unknown, will I be able to survive? In that unknown, will I be able to move forward? In that unknown, will I be able to take those steps that I need to take in order to still, you know, thrive and still, in order to still live? It makes sense to be afraid until we get to this place where we, where we realize St. Paul writes, and he says, have no anxiety at all, but in all things, with prayer and petition, make your requests known to God. And here's this God of all consolation who hears your prayers and is with you. So this is the, this powerful, I think, powerful message that, that, that we need to say is God is bigger than my fear. That the unknown future that will have its own challenges, it will have its own mysteries, it will have its own dilemmas, it will have its own sufferings and struggles, it will have its own heartbreak. Okay, that unknown future, there is something you know about it. There's something you know about the future. Again, I don't know the heartbreak, I don't know the suffering, I don't know the struggle, I don't know the loss, I don't know how it's going to go, but there's one thing that you know, and that one thing is that God will be there. And I know, so for people, it's like, okay, fine, that's nice to know, but like, that doesn't matter to me because I want not just God to be there, I want this person I love to be there. Like, okay, I get that. I get that. But this is life. And in this life, in this moment, in this walking forward into the future, what we get is what we're given. And in the midst of loss, God gives us himself. In the midst of struggle, God gives us himself. In the midst of our brokenness, he gives us himself. If I have nothing but God, is that enough for me? You might say, okay, I don't know and I don't want to know. I understand. But here's also something that you need to know. You are stronger than you think. And God is closer than you think. 
for a lot of our lives, for the good times, we get to ignore God. We get to pretend like he's optional. We get to pretend like he doesn't matter. And it's in the moments of great need that we realize, oh my goodness, Lord, you are not optional. You are necessary. And actually, I need you in this moment. Not need you to take this away. Not I need you to fix these things. Just, God, I need you. And that's an incredible gift. You don't have to wait until your loved one has passed away to come to this realization. When you feel that fear, when you feel that really troubled, you're, you're panicked at the thought of the future or things, anxiety, this fear of the future to say, okay, God, I need you now. Come into this fear. God, I need you now. Come into this anxiety. God, I need you now. And come into this trouble, this worry, this moment. And be with me now because he is with you now. You are stronger than you think and God is closer than you know. So don't be afraid. The one thing you know about the future is God will be there. For all those here to present, my name is Father Mike. God bless.